The second update to the structure of the YAML files isn't so much uh, an update to the structure as it was intended to be, but some automatic fixes for some badly generated YAML files that could have happened in earlier versions of Bullet Train. Now, most of the time that this would happen, if your settings were the Bullet Train default, where we'll throw an exception if a locale string is not found, you would have run into this after generating your scaffolds and you would have come back and you know had to fix the YAML file anyway. So it's probably fixed in your application. But if you had that setting disabled, it's possible that you still have some YAML files where specifically the active record attributes are not generated either in the right place or with the right scoping for the resource itself if you had a namespace class. So the uh, command line tool that's provided will fix this automatically for you, but I'll just illustrate a little bit um, the two different issues that could have come up. So for one, this active record uh, key, which is directly under the locale language, English in this case, um, this was being generated at some times to uh, nested under, for example, the name of the class or whatever. So this is not going to work. This will this will not work. And as a result, whatever you've defined here is not going to be picked up and displayed on the form automatically as the label for a given field. So if you had run into this before, the quick fix to it was just to fix the indentation. And then at some point, super scaffolding was generating these properly anyways. But it's possible if you have that setting disabled that this error would not throw and you don't aren't actually seeing the right labels and you just haven't noticed. So the command line script will fix that automatically, adjusting the indentation. The other problem that existed was the key for namespaced classes at one point, the key that was being generated here wasn't namespaced. It was just the last part of the class name within the namespace. And so if that exists in one of your YAML files, the command line tool will fix that automatically as well, looking like this. So uh, there were maybe some other uh, little tweaks like that or similar to that, um, but all of those conditions that might have existed in a YAML file in your project right now, those will be fixed automatically as well.